Well, I will explain you how to predict the secondary structure of a protein uh, given that we have some sequence. So this is a very basic exercise uh, to tell you tell basic biologists that how they can infer uh, the that which secondary structure is present in their protein sequence. Uh, so uh, let's start from the very basic. For example, you know that how to extract a uh, protein sequence. If you don't, you can follow my tutorial related to that. So let's suppose we have this protein sequence and we want to predict its uh, secondary structure. So there are many tools. And uh, let's say we start with the basic one that is Cypred. We just go on the Cypred uh, website and that is uh, 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 this one you just have to click it after clicking you can see that there are so many things you can do with the with this tool uh, prediction of uh, secondary structure membrane helix predictions and fold recognition and gene thread threader structural modeling using different tools or domain prediction there are so many things but let's say what we got first we start with predicting the secondary structure of the uh, protein right so let's say we have this sequence we just copy this sequence we just have to copy it and we go on this website here and this server uh, is clicked and then from here you can see that the cypred is already selected we just uh, go down and we put the protein sequence of interest here and it uh, it gives the job name here so you can just also uh, please any email ID so that if you want the record of this you just put it here and you can click submit after clicking the submit uh, you can get this result by just uh, looking at the cypred output or also this email this result would be sent to your email uh, whichever email you have provided in the email section and it takes a bit of time to predict the secondary structure and uh, yeah so let's wait yeah so here you can see that this is the predicted protein structure of secondary structure of the sequence we inserted and um, the different ways to view that right for example let's say if we look, focus on this output here so you can see that starting from the first minus here to the last it has predicted uh, for instance gray m is gray and gray represents the membrane interaction and then there is a blue a pink color where r n i i y f these amino acid sequences in arrangement they actually represent the helix you can see that helix is mentioned here uh, pink represents helix and yellow yellow represents that these are the strands and then all the other information possible information that majority of the sequence contains the coiled uh, information of this light gray and and uh, strand and helix so if you want to have get the output of this you can just click click the get png output and that this will be downloaded here and you can see that clearly that this is the secondary structure of the protein sequence which we inserted right and also if you want to download all the zip files you can just click the get zip files and the zip files will be stored here in the submission all the files right in svg format and in the csv format and in the csv format you can see that if i just open the csv format here you can see that all the information related to the interactions and the result is stored here right but uh, for the most clear and important information is given in this figure you can see and that is stored in the png format so and in the next tutorial we will come up with the new uh, other uh, protein prediction tools and more complicated uh, questions and their answers thank you